Hey everyone, this is Kenny Cascraft from Broad Street. I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of our new business directory plugin for WordPress. So at this point, you probably already have the plugin installed, so we're going to jump into the WordPress admin section. And down here on the left, you'll see a new menu item called Broad Street. So if I click on that, we'll be taken to the setup page. So before I start really using the plugin, I just need to put in my access token. And that lets the plugin talk to the Broad Street Ads server. So if you click this link, you'll be taken off to a page on my.broadstreetads.com, which will give you your access token. And if you have an account with us, you have one. So once you're done with that, click Save. And then this option right here, Enable Business Directory, that'll become enabled. And you would just want to check that off and save again. And if you have any questions throughout this or you want to refer to some documentation, you can click how to get started and that'll give you a nice overview of everything that you might want to do with this plugin with some instructions. So we're going to go back up to businesses. This is a new menu item and our business profiles on our site are just like any other post, only they're kept in this, ca this section called businesses. So if we want to add a new business profile, we just click add new. So as a sample here, I'm going to put in I think it's Temple Gourmet Chinese, and that's a restaurant in town. And then I can fill out a description, and I can enter in a whole lot of information in this meta box down here. So I have the business hours, their address, their website. I can add images of the business, and I can also upload a menu. Now, one thing that we wanted to do to make this whole process a lot easier, to make it a lot easier to create a business profile, is basically import a lot of this information if we can. So, for example, if the business has a Facebook page, like Temple, what we can do is copy and paste the URL in the address bar of our browser and come back to the magic import here. So we're going to paste that in. We're going to see what exactly the magic import can pull in. And you don't have to use the magic import, but it does save a lot of time. So it says, we're really able to pull back a title and a description for this business. Should we place it in the editor? Sure. 29 fields were magically imported. And you can see that images were pulled in for a photo gallery. We got the address of the business. We got the hours that it's open. And we also got some links to its social media. So we're going to rearrange our photo gallery here. Maybe we'll use that nice picture right there. And we'll publish it. And after we're done, we can view this business. So we can see that without really any work, in about 30 seconds, we put together a full business profile for Temple. So imagine that Temple wants to update their profile, and they want to say, they want to be able to run specials and say, I'm running two entrees for $20. That's my special for today. Well, if you're familiar with our editable ad technology, we do that, uh, but we built it right into the plugin. So Imagine that Temple wanted to update their profile via text message. You would take the advertiser's phone number, put it in here, and then you would tell them to text that number right there. So as long as they text to this number, from this number, any updates will get added to their, their profile. It'll go right at the top. So imagine you had a page on your site where it was just lunch specials. It was all lunch specials. We won't do that now, but what I can do is I'm going to add this to the category Chinese and Lunch Specials. I'm going to update that. So if I had one page on my site called Lunch Specials, maybe it could just be the single page where everyone in town could go and see what's going on for lunch. So what I'll do is I wanted to add that to my menu. And on the front page of the site, you can see I don't have any links to business categories or any businesses on my menu. So I'm going to go to Appearance menus. And down here on the left, you're going to see you have new business categories that you can add to your menu. We're going to add lunch specials. So that's a new menu item. We save that. We're going to refresh our page. and We have a new menu item called lunch specials. So I click on that. Temple Gourmet Chinese. If they had sent in a text message, there would be an update right here saying exactly what they're running for lunch and you can click into their profile. So this plugin is very flexible. You can do a lot with it and you can organize your businesses in a lot of different ways. You can add as many categories and remove any, any that, you, that you need to. If you have any questions along the way, just email me, kenny at broadstreetads.com and 